When I went to Fudan University, um, it was back in, when was this? 2017. Yeah, I was there, I guess the fall semester of 2017, which actually goes into January in China. Because instead of kind of Christmas and New Year's being the big holiday, it's a uh, or um, uh, Chinese New Year, right, in English. So when I was there in 2017, um, it was it was awesome because I got to uh, know so many other foreigners really well. Um, and the way that college in China typically works is that instead of you picking your own classes for your major, or whatever, like based on your requirements, you're kind of set up with this um, like schedule of like, okay, you're doing this, then first year you do this these classes, and they give you your you know your schedule and everyone else in that major you do all of the same classes with them like throughout college at least that's how Fudan did it um I don't know if it's kind of different for like Chinese students or people that actually go there full-time it was my last study abroad semester at Fudan the way it works was you know you're in this class with all these other people and it was awesome there's people from like all different parts of the world um there was only one other American in my class and you know we took like Chinese grammar classes together. There was, um, what was it? It was like uh, writing Chinese, reading Chinese, speaking Chinese, and listening Chinese classes. So there's like four major classes, right? With four different teachers. Um, and I met like some literally lifelong friends through that. Such like, we were lucky. You're we all like friends. We were like, um, excuse me. We were like, you know, mob and deep in our class excuse my very long hair poking out there i've been gone to a barber in like a year anyway so yeah we were like we had a great friendship and, and friend group and it was like so amazing and i had so much fun um and you know we even had like the wider community of the other foreigners at fudan studying chinese um and we were all like um on the same, in the same section of, of Fudan. Um, and like all on these certain, like, I think it was like three or four floors, right? Of just the foreigners learning Chinese, which was awesome. But we definitely felt uh, kind of separate from the Chinese students. And, you know, we we're, we we're there to be immersed in, in the language. So uh, I was, I was always kind of bothered by that. Um, because I didn't really have a lot of opportunities to meet Chinese people, like people that were born and raised in China, which is kind of why I went all the way to China to study, right? I wanted to make Chinese friends and get to know the culture by being totally immersed and, and all this stuff. And that didn't really happen until I joined uh, this Kung Fu club. And I wasn't the only foreigner there. There was one other guy who came every now and then, um, and I skip classes too sometimes, but pretty much like, I mean, every, everything there is all in, in, uh, in Chinese. Uh, there was a couple people there, actually Chinese students who, whose English was pretty good. So sometimes they would kind of try to talk in, in English and, and that was cool. They want to practice, but like pretty much if you're doing like the extracurricular activities at Fudan, they're all in Chinese, unless it's a foreigner's club, right? So, you know, it was, it was great immersion because you're doing an activity that forces you to, to like know the language um, and you learn all this new vocabulary and it's really like that stuff is amazing. And I, I really enjoyed that experience. And, you know, we even had like like club outings like, you know, we have in, in America at college. So we had like team up, like meet up club uh club meetings where we th like the drama club the drama and filmmaking club and the shaolong kung fu club actually had like a close relationship for some reason i guess mutual friends in each so we had a couple um get togethers with them which is awesome um one time like we went to the the like suburbs of shanghai like the bougie suburbs with, like a like a gated community we went to this like uh director of like film director's house who was like a former alumni of uh 
Fudan, and he was part of the like drama and film club. So he like hosted this elaborate uh, party for the Shaolong Kung Fu Club and the Drama Film Club, uh, and it was awesome. And I remember there was there was two other foreigners. One was Mongolian, and another girl. I think she was from. I don't. I don't even remember. I I never met her before. She was either from like Europe or Canada or something. But I I just I literally didn't speak English. Like even though she was there, like um, I think she was a guest of the Mongolian. Um, girl but yeah I didn't she didn't really speak Chinese but I I didn't even talk to her because I was just speaking Chinese the whole time we made dumplings and then like these uh, really good singers were just singing songs around the giant table of this like mini mansion in Shanghai it was really awesome so like it, like opportunities like that were amazing um, and we even had a mentor mentee program where a Chinese student and a foreigner would be like paired up uh, and kind of ease the transition in and the Chinese student would practice English and the foreigner would practice Chinese kind of like a language exchange but I only met up with my I guess Chinese mentor once I talked to him and like I think he was supposed to meet up with me earlier and he didn't really do it and we went to I remember his activity he wanted to do not to throw shade but I'm gonna throw some shade it was like this really expensive, like experiential museum. So it was like, uh, I don't know, you go in, there's all these optical illusions and you t like basically like take pictures for Instagram or WeChat in this case, right? And I don't know, like it was fine or whatever, but like I, I didn't really connect with him. Like, sorry if you're watching, uh, I bet you're not, but <laughs> Um, yeah, it just wasn't, it was like late in the semester that we actually met up and it was weird. And I mean, I don't like, I guess he was busy or whatever, but like, it was really hard to meet Chinese friends and, and get immersed in Chinese culture. So like the experience I had in Shanghai was kind of like the experience I had previously in Beijing where I, I had one Chinese friend, um, in Beijing, uh, shout out to Isaac, <laughs> uh, still friends with him, talk all the time. Uh, on WeChat and uh, yeah, he actually moved to Shanghai the same day I did. So we kind of, that was my one friend that was like Chinese. Um, so that was awesome. But yeah, anyway, why did I tell this story? I don't know, because I felt like it, I guess. But yeah, so that's a little bit of backstory on this shirt, there's a story behind it. I remember I, I was like, wow, this is dope. Like when we got our shirts, I was like, I'm part of this team, yeah. I'm in China, oh yeah. So anyway, um, and I think I've mentioned this before, my roommate in China, uh, Mike, he gave me this hat for Christmas uh, 2017 over in Shanghai. Um, so a lot of meaningful clothing that I'm wearing today. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>